Hey folks, Jay Marino here. I'm back. You're back. We're continuing our playthrough of Five Nations. It's an indie RTS. We're on mission six of the first campaign. The Bargain. All right, Cole. I think now is the time to tell us about your secret plan to get us home. I'm a little worried about our options right now. Don't know, Greg. Hopefully the Fed High Command will send a fleet to sweep the aliens out from the caribou system. Those pencil pushers will probably lock down the whole system. Commander, our prisoner requests permission to speak. Great. Hope he wants to complain about the food. Dear Commander Colburn, my little birds tweeted that you have a little problem with the aliens known as Cylons, and that that wonderful bit of construction, the Bifrost Gate, turned rusty. I think this is a great time to put our unpleasant past behind us. I'm going to make a bargain with you. I will be more than happy to help you leave this sector in return for amnesty. Your point, Zamor? The Black Swan operates a secret jump gate in the Cassini asteroid belt. This device is our organization's most secret and advanced technology which was left to us by Dima. It's helped in many situations to mobilize our forces and to evade the Federation. All Swan members swear an oath on our lives not to say anything about its existence. I see. So now, you've basically kicked yourself out of the organization just by talking about this? We are not the mindless terrorists you'd think we are, Lieutenant Leskovsky. We operate outside the bounds of Federation law because we fight for the persecuted. Your government would rather see us dead than give us liberty. The Cylons are something who were accidentally invited by the Federation's greedy EIRA. They regard mankind as an enemy, not only the Federation, but all of us. That's why I want to help you. Zamor, I'm gonna free you and your men if we get back to the solar system. You have my word. Getting some real rebel yell vibes here where we're we're having the, the outlaw help us out when we're stuck far away from actual government enforcement, I suppose. You know, Confederacy doing experiments on the Zerg and they knew about them before the Zerg showed up. Kind of like the EIRA or whatever it's called here, I guess. Not quite exactly the same, but I can see the parallels. Micro mission, it looks like, unless we find a base. Reactor what are you? Ready. Joseon? Commander, I've sent the transmission to all remaining Black Swan forces in the sector to help us reach the jump gate. Okay, well there's the jump gate. We gotta get up Go. to it. There was a scientific research team in the last rescued convoy. We should use this Joseon class ship to cloak our vessels in certain situations. Should work. Okay, so what can you do? You've got a little laser, so you'll you have like an automatic keep distance, so that's nice. Turns invisible a friendly unit for 20 seconds. Turns a friendly unit invisible for 20 seconds, I guess, means the same thing. Creates a field that continuously reduces shields and power and doubles cooldown for 10 seconds. That actually seems great, but I don't think we have it researched. And then an EMP missile, which is basically what Laskovsky has in the Trinity. So now we have two of those, very important. And then Colburn here, we don't have any resources, so we can't make any mines. State your request, Commander. We have another hailstorm. Reactor ready. So I'm not sure in what circumstances we would need to make things invisible. It's 75 energy, so it's not like we can just make everything we have invisible to go by an enemy group or anything like that. And also, I'm pretty sure that our units become vulnerable when they're shooting, even though they're made invisible, right? Nice, looking good. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, so I don't, I guess unless we have to get around stuff, I'm not sure in what circumstances the invisibility is gonna be super useful here. Volcanoid. What's up? I don't know if destroying those would give us anything of value. You know a bunch man. of fighters here, so let's Always. get in there with uh, Trinity and you know hit him with a flechette. Got him. Easy peasy. Ask. Like old times. And this is arson. I think this. I think these do AOE. possible. These bugs suck our shields and power dry. You know it, man. They suck our shields and power dry. So we don't want to go through those with anything that has a shield or power. But we have things that don't have shields and power. So I guess technically we could. Oh no no, those do damage to us too. Like actual damage. So we just want to avoid those completely. Ready to start the show. Uh, let's make sure we're looking around. Oh, What's these up? are friendly. These are pirates. I was going to say, they're red, so I thought that they were enemies, but... Where do you need me? We got some gunboats, which are not very good, but more importantly, we have a Pasteur. 
here, which is fantastic. Honestly, can I turn off the shield battery? And we have the exploratory bay now, which again, I'm not sure what that would be used on. It removes all effects. Okay. Anyway, heal me up, buddy. What's up? I'm listening. Of course. I, w I wish you could. it would prioritize Always. hull damage over shield damage in the future. That would be nice. We gotta ask. Anyway, we work. got some reinforcements. That's nice. What's and up? these dudes are our, our friends ask. now. You know it, man. Channel clear, sir. Identify just just be careful. Stay What's back. Up? Hailstorm, ready for mission. I'm unclear. Like, should I you know be just it, trying to destroy these Vulcanoids? Would that give us any sort of benefit, I wonder? Oh, hang on. I see some invisible folks. Let's get in there. What's up? You know it, Let's man. bring everybody in. Okay, you'll love to see it. And then you all stay here. Keep healing me while we wait. And then we also have... Clear, sir. Um, we've got the other hailstorm as well, which has the sensors, just like our other stuff. What's up? Looks like a group of pretty weak units here. What are you? you gotta ask. Let's blast it. I just read that and it said creates an right, unstable explosion, so I didn't even have to finish reading the whole thing to know ask. that we wanted to shoot that. Right, gold, it seems like the Cylon faction right, is very heavily go. dependent on both shields and on um, class reporting for duty. On shields and on uh, yes, stealth. Maybe let's get healed up. I don't want to wait too long. Oh, okay. it can cast both at the same time, so yeah, that's okay. Charged. That's perfectly acceptable. Actually, that's incredibly strong. Give me Gunboats. You know and Orca, get on up here. Got kind of stuck. I don't know what's up there. Maybe we can skirt around it. Rather than, I just see, when I see enemy buildings in a micro mission, I'll try to what's avoid up? them where possible. You know it, man. Always. Should work. And we're just going to sort of inch our way Always. through this. Uh, I'm on the lookout for mines Ready to start the show. on the mini-map because they're kind of hard to see. See, like here, I could technically What's destroy up? these in order to make a path, but these are like the really big... These are the really big ones that take up a ton of space and have a ton of HP, so like it's going to take a while to destroy these. Also, let me save just in case these, for whatever reason, explode like the reactor cores do. I'm going to think that they probably don't, but it's worth, you know, just making sure. I like the little, the gunboat's little pew-pews. It's good anti-fighter damage. I noticed that when you select every unit, sometimes it seems like the attack command is not available. Like, just earlier, it seemed like I couldn't even select that. Something you want. Please, please. There you go. I guess we can use these to skirt through here. On my way. Yeah, perfect. Okay, great. Where do you need me? So that was worth doing, I suppose. I don't think there was any other way through there besides destroying those. So we able to look out where like where we could destroy those in order to get through areas that otherwise are untraversable. It looks like that is it though. Can kinda use the mini-map to tell as well where there's like actual straight up walls. On my way. Over. Okay, cool. I mean, getting just a few extra units is always useful. Let's ask. keep going. You might want to double back and hit that area as well. Could be good. Be over, Let's I go ahead and start, start moving up. Show. I'm leading with the heroes. Wait, hang on. So I think... Yourself. Yeah, it's red, which means it's our friend. Gotta ask. Not that it's an enemy, Should per work. se. Do I want to double back? Of course. To hit any of this stuff over here. Should work. Callburn reporting. Target designated. Confirmed. Okay, up? that's a little spooky. Just keep hit him with a bunch of these missiles. Not enough power. Gotta ask. Something you want. Ready to start. Okay, now show. turn and fight. Pastor, please heal me. What do you see? Something you want. I baby. Back, back up, back up. Hang on, hang on. This is fine. This is okay. Let's use these two ships. Commander, these men will help you repair and reinforce our fleet. I suggest you pull us together here and attack those Cylon defense lines wisely. Okay, so we... It doesn't seem like there's anything here that would be worth messing around with. Confirmed. So we got some reinforcements here. Confirmed. 
Oh, okay. So we can actually build some more stuff here. Updating coordinates. Medical station. We got a pirate port for gunboats. Captured Icarus is what I'm looking for. It's actually very expensive. We can only really get one. And then we can make the Khan, largest battleship class in the Federation Navy until the Avenger was introduced. Okay, well, obviously we can't uh, do anything with that. Ready to start the show. Channel clear, sir. Let's just go ahead and get repaired while we continue looking for more potential reinforcements. Was there any way to get down here? Because it doesn't look like it. You know it, man. Of course. So I think I think the idea is you want to cloak. Oh, for cloak. You want to cloak one of these dudes, your request. Confirm. and then move them up here Update and have them hit the unstable core. Battle stations. Confirm. Like that. Updating coordinates. What's up? Then we got reinforcements coming, or work. enemy reinforcements coming in. Let's take care of these. I don't know why you're turning around. Please attack. Gotta These gunboats are very weak and fragile, but again, the, the key is they give us a numeric advantage, and unless the enemy has some sort of AoE, then this is a very good thing. What I would like to do... What's up? Let's destroy this. That does not damage the asteroids, unfortunately. And again, this, this might be a situation where we want to destroy... Okay, there's an Icarus back there, weirdly enough. So we do want to destroy these to get through and look for... Any potential findables. Like State request, Commander. Let's get everybody in there so that they're actually all attacking this. Nobody's like hitting each other or anything, right? No, it's all working out. I'm not sure what an Icarus would be for in this circumstance. Honestly, I think we go ahead and we just get our uh, plus one one here. I think that's the perfect use of the resources that we have. Uh, Baker is here. Confirmed. Good to go. I guess that this is considered a a combat vehicle. I can drive this. It's just slow. I'm listening. Maybe let's wait for these res for these upgrades to finish. Colburn reporting. I'm just gonna use my heroes and look Gotta around ask. here. Always. Not sure if this is going to connect to anything or if we wanted to go the other way first and foremost. Because this all seems like an area that... Ready to start the show. I don't want to say it's request. secret, but there is really no other way through here. Class reporting for duty. Have the Repair panels charged. We miss you. What's up? Always. That's like a, just a decently there. large right away. fleet. Gotta ask. You know I mean, we don't man. even have to cloak. We can just flechette strike this. Should work. Always. Don't get close to it, though, please. I'll okay. take care of it. Like old times. Again, sort of seems like we went a completely different and sort of wrong way. Because otherwise we would have gone this way, and who knows what would have been up there. Got to remember to check Let's back go. there. What do you see? I'm taking What's my up? time. I like I like Should taking work? my time in micro missions and trying to find everything that there is to find and then keep my you know it, fleet at tip-top strength and not have to lose too Always. much. You never know if there's going to be something really difficult at the very end. Um, let's just wait for this to finish and go ahead and queue up armor. Research complete. Cool, and that's all of our resources. I think that's I the best use yourself. of them because we haven't lost any other units, so we're good to show. go. Should work. You know it, man. I'm not a huge What's fan up? of of using um, of having to destroy Always. these really beefy asteroids to accomplish Should anything. Work. Dude, a Always. bunch of Icaruses? Of course. Yes, boss. Um, my men found these two poor lost Icarus vessels What's recently. Up, we should use their resources ask. to construct additional Always. units or upgrade weaponry. Found, right. Of course. How, where do we return these to? The pirate port. Okay, gotcha. So let's send these back. Turn those in, and it actually looks like that. No, no, I don't want them to go through the, the goop, though. I don't want them going through the goop. That's bad news. We got another captured Icarus as well. Which, has, it has the same weaponry. No, no, it's a different weapon, actually. So the captured Icarus is actually... They have 130... Millimeter guns, which is the same as a as an orca, but they're probably just a little beefier. Interesting. Ready to start the show. Let's go up here next. Should work. And it seems like the way we're supposed to go was this way. 
Um, are there any other upgrades we'd even want to get? We could just get more... I would just get more captured Icaruses, I think. Hey, you guys, you, please? Sure thing, boss. I'll deliver it. Come on back to base. They'll hopefully figure that out eventually. Pastors, though, don't sit in the front. This thing seems really good, if only for the EMP blast. They're the EMP missile. We'll keep that in mind as time goes on. Always. Of course. Always. Some breakable asteroids here. We might want to check that out. In fact, I guess let's just do it. This is this mission is really showing the power of the fr like the free form element of being able to traverse the map in different ways. I'm actually really intrigued by this. There might be cases where we spend a lot of time on one map and then come to realize we could have approached it in a totally different way. Um, I feel like I'm having some like the pathing is. The, I mean, we have a ton of units, so the pathing is getting a little more um, a little more wonky, unfortunately, as time goes on. Let's go through the dust fog and see what's on the other side before we check anywhere else. I see some Always. Cylon bases up here. Ready to start the show. This looks at like Finally this legitimately request. just looks like an entire Gotta Cylon ask. base. And I will destroy it. Ready to start the show. Uh, let's EMP this. I may be bad, but I cool. And then get everyone in there. We're gonna lo we're losing some gunships. What's up? But that's fine. They're not that useful. <laughs> They're just not. I think we just tr keep the gunships back and away. We can let them attack other stuff. While our orcas and captured Icaruses and such, along with our heroes, can clear out the rest. Is there? I, I don't know if there's a point to destroying this base or what, but I'm doing it. Okay, perfect. Work a lookout, though. Heroes are all fine. It looks like the enemy actually gets, like, super hyper-focused on certain things. Did you notice that? It looks like the enemy gets super hyper-focused in certain circumstances and then ignores other units. What's up? Can you imagine if this was, like, completely optional, but then the next mission, they're like, you found the Cylon base and destroyed them, so now this next mission's easier. I'd be a huge, I would be a massive fan of that, though I suspect that that is not what's going to happen. I can't be sure, but I just don't get the impression that that's how this game works. But that would be cool! These things have still have weapons, so we could bring them with us, I suppose. It's possible that this base builds stuff and sends them against you at some point? I have no idea. I don't know why we came up here or what we're doing, but I'm going to clean it all out. It's going to get all destroyed. The auto-attacking seems to work fine, except for the pastors, which don't have, like, a keep distance option on them. But that's okay. The thing about the captured Ic Icarus is, is that they have a lot of HP, so they're, they can, you know, tank, and they have a decent weapon on them as opposed to the, the crap on these. We are under attack. Hang on, we got another turret here. Something you want? And no... Just trying to keep these dudes alive. Again, if there's a fighter swarm, I mean, we've got the flechette strike, so I guess we don't have to worry that much about that, but... Looks like this is a dead end, but hey, they're gone, so... It's possible they would have built stuff to reinforce. I have no idea why that was there, but it's gone now, and I don't think we lost any units, so we're all good. I realize now the idle workers, like last mission I was confused about the idle workers not adding up. It counts Icaruses. What's up? As workers. You know it, man. Which makes some sense. Doesn't look like there's any way to get on this side of the... On this side of the asteroids, so we're just gonna... I guess let's keep going this way. You know it, man. We destroyed some asteroids to get through here, so maybe we'll get some more rescuables on this side. That would be nice. Or we're bypassing Always. enemy defenses in some way by going this way. That would be nice. Always. Never mind. Something there's just enemies more. here. Easy. Is that a mine layer? You gotta ask. Course. Aren't these mine layers? No. These are just stealth stealth boys. I'm trying to keep these things back. They're basic those things are basically fighters. They're not actually fighters, but they're they're like a little bit 
They're a little bit better than normal fighters, but not by much. And I think they're probably anti-fighter. Eggs in the copy. So we don't want to just throw them against scarier Let's enemies. Call. Eggs in the copy. Why am I getting the impression that this was okay? No, no, no we're Get good. The There's a way out. I was a little concerned. I mean, it's going to take a little bit longer to destroy that one, but I think this is going to bring us out around the other side there. I guess let's bring these dudes. Can I build the con? No. Ye yes. Let's do it. We're going to get a capital ship. I thought, I didn't know how much helium it costs. It doesn't cost helium. It's strictly tachyon, which we have just enough for. So that's pretty baller. 4,000 HP. So you're clearly incentivized to not mess around with uh, the bigger asteroids, I guess, where possible. Almost. Cool, then let's destroy these two small guys. Small guys. Okay, and we're through. Ready to start the show. It is nice how your units Always. don't seem like they path block themselves you know it, that man. much. I appreciate that. What's up? Mines. Look out for mines. Of course. Let's disable one of these. Yo, look out though. We basically came out right into like a not really a trap, but sort of a trap. You gotta ask. I don't think we were really meant to go this way. Make it happen. Make sure we leave with the dude who has What's sensors. We are prepared. Colburn reporting. Um. Ready to start the show. Let's hit these Should with a flechette strike missile, what have you. Of course. Always. Hit him with two. Of course. Instant kill them all. Flammo, that did not instant kill them all. Always. Look out, my friend. The Icaruses can yeah, just stay back. That we don't have to bring them with us. Or maybe we should, just for the, you know, just to say, like, hey, we, we evacuated everybody. It'd be kind of silly, I guess, not to, right? Always. Um, we can EMP strike. Where's my other, here, this guy. We can EMP missile this. Oh, this one is actually free targeting. It's not a single. Wow, that's really good. Oh, my gosh. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh, mines, mines, mines. Kill the mines. That's what the... These dudes are actually really good because they can kill the mines as they get close. Okay, back out. Back out for a moment. Just back out for a moment. We'll kill this dude. I'll take care of it. Should work. I think we lost one gunboat. That's fine. I don't care about that. It's, it's the big... It's the really big... What's up? Turrets that concern Always. me, though. Should work. This guy. Always. Like old time. Gotta ask. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Let's go ahead and bring everybody in. We should be able to easily destroy the rest of this. See, right, right now I don't have an attack command anymore. Uh, weirdly enough. Now it's there. I'd like to see maybe ooh, some consistency on that front. Make it happen. Ready to start the show. Okay, we Gucci. That those big lingering ask. explosions really worry me sometimes. All that so that we can get these two Icarus through as if that matters at all. We had completely bypassed what seemed to be the hardest part of the mission. Instead to just kind of throw away potential gains by <laughs> What's up? By doing that, but that's okay. What are you I don't have any resources left, so I also can't rebuild any Rizzo. any units. But wait, I have, um, it, this was totally worth it, because now we have the con, which seems like it's very slow. Large caliber of artillery capable of firing high explosive shells cannot target fighters. Huge hull damage, and it shoots three times. It says barbette gun times three. I don't know if that means it's 43 times. That seems maybe a little too good. Class reporting for duty. I'm not so sure. Also, our uh, 
our dudes are really ask. low on on energy, of so course. we can't repair stuff as you know it, quickly as I would like. Should work. So maybe let's hang out for a little bit. We gotta wait for this. This is a very slow acceleration, but once it starts getting moving, then it's all good. I may be bad, but I feel good. Getting strong vulture vibes from these. On my way. Starcraft vultures, for sure. Yes, I don't want. Okay, Icarus. Yes, boss. Ready as ever. Get in there. What's up? Get up here and, and um, disable this. Perfect. Gotta ask. These are these are pretty. They, they don't have much survivability. I think that's Something the key. Just recognizing they don't have much survivability, so you can really. Uh, gotta ask. You can really take advantage of that. I'm just gonna blast Always. these with flechette. We've got plenty of energy. A couple ammo. That hits more than What's that's it. That hits in a larger radius than it initially ask. seems. This is hard. I kind of want to leave with this dude. It has its own uh, name too. It seems like um, the bigger ships get their own get their own names, which is neat. What's up? How about you? Yeah, you have been Typhoon. That's neat. All right, let's get through this awful fog. Space fog. Ready to start the show. It looks like we're. Pretty much there, unless there's you like a defense it, holdout section, but we've got Should everyone work. through, and we have a capital ship you that can keep it, us safe. I'd like to get some energy back. Should work. Where possible, but I also think we're done. You know it, man. Yeah, we didn't leave anybody behind. We lost several gunboats. See, Commander Colburn, we got here just in time. The Cylons are advancing to our location soon. Let's go through and start the gate self-destruction protocol. Okay, cool. There was not like a holdout section at the end. We got T Boogie, thankfully. You know your boy's got to change his portrait to be T Boogie for next time. Hey, thanks everyone for watching. This was an interesting micro mission, actually fairly difficult and kind of a cool way to exploit the map in different ways to avoid large enemy emplacements. Good stuff. All right, bye now.